Today we're going to talk about string and algorithms. So far we have talked about all the functions that's defined in the string header, which includes the string's member functions and some global functions. One big advantage of the standard library string is we can apply the STL algorithms to a string just like applying to a vector. So if we have S1 equal to variety is the spice of life. And we want to find out how many times the letter E has appeared in this sentence. We can do int num equal to count as one dot begin as one dot end e and this will return a value of 4 and if we want to count all the letters of a b c d e we'll do num equal to count if as one dot begin as one dot end and we'll use a lambda function to determine if the letter needs to be counted or not it will return c is less or equal to E and C is bigger or equal to A and this will return 6 and now let's say S1 equal to goodness is better than beauty and we want to search the consecutive two S like this one then we'll do string iterator iter equal to search n s1 dot begin s1 dot well let's say begin plus 20 and then 2s so this will search two consecutive s in the first 20 characters of the string s1 so iter will be pointing to the first S, this one. And then if we do S1 dot erase iter, iter plus five, this will remove the five characters starting from the position of iter. So these five characters will be removed from S1. If we do S1 insert iter 3x, this will insert 3x at the position of iter. And S1 that replace iter, iter plus 3, and then 3y, this will replace the three characters starting from iter, so that will be this three, and replace them with three y's. Remember that we have talked about these uh, strings member functions before, but at that time they are used with integer parameters as position and length, and now they are used with uh, iterator parameters. There's another algorithm called is permutation s1 dot begin s1 dot end s2 dot begin this will test if s1 is a permutation of s2 the algorithm also has a replace function replace s1 dot begin s1 dot end e space this will replace all the E's that appeared in string S1 with a space. Notice the difference between the algorithm function replace and the member function replace. The member function replace is replacing substring and the algorithm replace is replacing characters. there is a very powerful function called transform. 
it will transform one string into another. So if we transform s1.begin, s1.end, and we'll save the transformed string into s2. s2.begin. And we'll use a lambda function to define the transformation. Char c if c is less than n, it will return a, else return z. This will replace all the characters that's less than n with a and bigger than n with z, and then save the result into s2. So in the end, s2 will contain something like this. Now let's look at a rotate function. Say s1 equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, g, and we'll rotate s1 dot begin, s1 dot end, um, begin plus three, s1 dot end. This will rotate the string of s1 in such a way that this character becomes the first character. So S1 becomes D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Here I only showed you a small number of algorithm functions. For more algorithms, please watch my algorithm videos. Okay, we have talked about a lot of functions for the string S. But there are other string classes, such as U16 string which is a string of 16-bit characters, char 16 type. And we also have u32 string. Let's give the string unique names. And this is a string of 32-bit character. And we also have w string which is a string of wide characters. This is a wide character. So most of the functions that we have talked about can also be applied to these three strings. One exception is there's a 2w string function, which is specifically defined for w string. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.